You want to always have her sit before you send her to her mat. So she's sitting in a real sit stay. You're not restraining her, so you're never going to restrain her. She's really sitting, waiting for you to lean over with your right hand, pat her chest and say, go to your mat. Walk over with her, say down. And she'll go on the mat. Um, see how she kind of crowded the mat? In this case, I'm just going to go like this and push her back like that. You can do that if that happens because you want her right in the middle of the mat. And then you start doing your, your rewards, putting your rewards on the mat. Good. Make sure that she waits until you put the reward on the mat and then she takes it off the mat. And then you can do start the exercise where you just practice your basic down stay, which is walking around her both ways like that and then always coming back to the same place and rewarding her right there between her feet good she takes it off the mat make sure she's really waiting she's not grabbing the food out of your hand so this is a very important part of the exercise is that she really respect you and wait see how she touched my hand no good that's the most you'll have to do and I kind of like I didn't even I just barely kind of you know, kind of pushed her back like that. You saw what I did. And then she waited and she got rewarded. So make sure that you always reward her like that. She's always calm and waiting for you to withdraw. Uh, and then you can start doing more uh, difficult things. Like I'm going to step out of the shot here, going around the corner where she can't see me, coming back, always coming from in front, rewarding the same way. Good. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go into the bathroom here and close the door behind me. If you're ever gonna do something that's difficult for her to do, it's okay to remind her down before you do it. Good. And she's never been in this room before. This is the, my office. And so she's not used to good doing this exercise in this room. So she's doing really well considering that. Our other front room, our other living room is not available right now, so we're having to do it here. So now I'm going to go in here and knock on the door. Down. Good. That usually can make a dog break out of a downstay, but she was really, she's doing very well. No. Good. You can also pull back and say no. You see what just happened? And then she'll wait. So here's the most important thing that you want to practice. This is our front door here, and then the camera person is going to have to kind of go there so you can see me doing it. Down. Good. Good. So she passed that test. Let's try something else. Down. Come to the window. Hang on the windows. Good. And also I'm giving her, good, a bigger reward because that's a more difficult uh, distraction to, to uh, stay focused through. So now let's try, so let's try everything at once. Down. Nail slot. Windows. Knocking on the door. Good. Good. And she got a big reward, triple reward for that. So if she does some, something exceptional, give her a bigger reward. If she does something normal, just give her the regular one piece. And if she does something exceptional like this, I gave her three pieces of the natural balance. Because she'll know the difference. She'll think, oh, you know, the harder it is, the bigger the reward. And that'll help her uh, be more, as focused as she can possibly be when you're doing this exercise. And you want to take her off the mat. You saw what I did. I picked up the leash. I stand back next to her. I pat my leg and say, okay. She's going to get up. And I'm just going to go ahead and, and go out the front door and show you the way we've been sit handling front doors. I always have her sit and wait. I always step through like this because she goes outside like six times a day, seven times a day. And we do this at the doorways every time we step out, we step back. It really helps her practice her, her sit stay. Okay. 
See how she's not pulling me through? Even If she even tries to go a, a little bit ahead, you just do a little tiny signal like that, a little prompt that slows her down. Make sure you walk really slow through that doorway. And this now has become the calm zone where every time you put her outside, you have to take time to put her outside anyway. And now this is like a little 20 second mini training routine every time you bring her in and out of the house. And of course on the way in, you would have her, let's just do it now, sit. Same thing. Let's say she was free in the yard, you called her back to come to you, hook her up on a leash again, have her sit, and then, okay, okay, bring her back in the same way. Calmly, no pulling, always a left turn like that to go close the door. And then once you're inside, you can have her sit, and then you can release her to be free in the house. Go, just like that.